that was stressful trying to get this big almost 42 foot RV in this itty bitty spot. Don't hit the pole. Don't hit the picnic table. Don't hit the other pole. Don't hit the neighbor's car. And don't hit the neighbor's rig. But we did it. So we are here. Where are we at? <laughs> Nokomis, Florida, near Venice Beach. And today we're going to take you along with us as we check out travel trailers at the Tampa RV show. Yes, we didn't see all of them. There are a lot. There are so many. And one thing we realized is that a lot of travel trailers look the same. Maker to maker, they're pretty similar. So let's go take a look. So this is the Imagine 2800BH. I actually have some friends that have this model, Ben and Kelly. And what I like about it, is that it's got quite a bit of space with a U-shaped dinette bunks over here and what they did is they actually took out this bottom bunk and made it so it's a bed with a smaller like twin bed with storage underneath and a play area and then they they only have one kid in a bed right now uh they have two kids uh so they can grow into this trailer but this bed they use as storage but this thing has tons of storage like right open that cabinet underneath the stove you know, just tons of huge storage Put a bunch of pots and pans in there. Yeah, there's storage back here. What I also really like is if you're boondocking or need to stop, you don't have to put the slides out to access the beds. So there's a door in here so you can access the master. There's lots of storage around the master. Extra counter. But then this slide, the slide with the beds, you know, comes in so you can still access your fridge and everything and still get to these bunks and the bathroom so huge advantage you know with having those two doors so that way you can still boondock without putting your slides out and still access all your beds and your bathroom that's pretty deep it's huge hooks for your coats a little cubby so good amount of storage and a nice bunkhouse option What do you think? Pretty cool. If I would, um, if I would want to like go away for the weekend, then I would probably pick this. You like this one? Or, you know, small families. Yeah. You know, with little kids. It's a great option. So this is the Imagine 21 BHE. And what's kind of nice about this is it's kind of an entry level bunk. I think the price is around 21,000. Let me see real quick. 28,000. So the price on this one's 28,000. It is 24 feet long, but it's got a Murphy bed here. Bunch of storage down there. You can put totes down there. Yeah, tons something. of storage, double bunk. So, you know, nice option for a smaller family. It's just wanting to get into it or weekending. It's a good little option. So this is the Amerilite Ultralight 20. 274 TV. It's dim in here. It is pretty dark. Watch our own. Looks like they don't have power to this one. But. Oh. It Whoa, is a bunk look for the bunk house. Awesome. You can sleep one, two, three, four kids in here. At four least. kids in here? And then you could even add a bunk here. Uh, that'd be pretty tight. Yeah. That would be tight. Well, well it looks like you yeah. have I can get on only bed. a little bit of storage. Mm -hmm. Is there any? Un nope, none underneath. There's an outdoor kitchen down here. Mm -hmm. So that's you the issue. You can turn that and do a playroom. Well, it's outside. <laughs> so there's outdoor kitchen out there, so you lose some of the storage. It's pretty spacious. Yeah. yeah. So let's see what we have here. So this is probably going to be pantry yeah, space. So it does go around. This has a bathtub. It has a bathtub. A bathtub? I want to see. So this oh, has yeah. a bathtub. What did you find, yeah. babe? I found a light switch. But so this you is want to really see tight. Right. So it's, so it's so tight, you have to have two doors that, to get into the master. I found a light Hello. switch. But you, I found a light switch, but you want to see if Dad's right? 
No it power. power yeah, so it does have a skylight up here, which is neat. Yeah. Bray, open that cabinet. Let's see what the storage looks like. So it's deep. Oh, that's pretty deep, though. Wait. But not a lot of space. Not a lot of space for clothes. Oh, yeah, that is deep, though. It is. There's no TV. It's mounted for a TV. But here's the kicker. That was right. Sale price no on this power. unit. How much do you think? I don't, don't know. Don't look. Don't look. Uh, no guesses. Okay. Five hundred thousand. Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand dollars. Uh uh. Twenty three thousand four seventy seven. MSRP is thirty three five. No power. I heard that. So a big no bunk power. area. Yeah, big bunk area. But tiny, tiny. tiny light. So I think the issue with this unit would be storage power. space for sure. There just is not enough room for storage for, for clothes and things like that. There is a cabinet there. You have a cabinet mm -hmm. there, a cabinet here, cabinets above. Hey Bryson, open up that bottom cabinet. Let's check that out. Underneath this side, under the fridge. Uh, it's really deep. You could fit in there. Uh-huh. We're not going to try. You can, you can fit. So there's a, a quite a bit of kitchen storage, but not a lot of storage. Yeah. In the bunker. In the bunker. You could add another storage bin right here. But I'm the tester. It's pretty soft. So this is the Amerilite Ultralight 268BH. It's technically the same. Wow. It's pretty similar to the one we were just in. Yeah, yeah let's climb up more. the ladder. But what's nice about this one is, that is the bathroom has a door. Oh, there's a bathtub too. Wow. Oh, and this one has a bathtub. And a shower. Well, they always have showers, yeah. but they don't always have tubs. So nice for families or dogs. Oh yeah, dogs. Let's see if we can do this. So pretty similar model. Uh, the difference Very, just is like getting down from uh, the, where the bathroom was. So the bathroom on that other model was over here. But this and time so it's right this, here. This is a slide out, so it comes in. So that would be one of the disadvantages is I don't know if you could get to the bedroom. I'm assuming you can. Through this door, you'd close it and be able to get in right here, potentially, I guess. Whoa. How would you that see it. the, the TV if you were right here? No yeah, worries. that would be tough. No worries. So I'm similar space. There. Yeah, you have the, the doors on either side. I think that that's kind of smart. This, doors this bunk bed is big. It is. It's, it's a, a deep. Like yeah. It's a good size. Most of these sides. Most of these sides. Yeah. So this is an Envision 282BH. What's nice is it has the two entry doors. And this is going to be similar to like that uh, Grand Design Imagine. Where you come in, the bathroom's right there. And then your kitchen and living area right here. With lots of storage. Some nice deep doors. And then you have your bunks on this side and it looks like it probably has an outdoor kitchen out there let's take a look at the bathroom very similar to like envision there's a winnebago that's really similar to this too a winnie it's a pretty common floor plan sale price on this one is 31977 again it has the two entry doors uh, which makes boondocking easy because you can get in so you can get access to all your all your bedrooms. Your slide would come in. You can still access your kitchen, even when the slides are in if you're needing to boondock. So this is a Whitehawk uh, 32BH. Jayco Whitehawk 32BH. But what I like about this is this master bedroom so look at that window there's tiff outside but it's just so cool to have that front window like that it's a nice master pretty big shower Nice living area. It's kind of nice. I, I, I don't know how I feel about the two-tone. So we have like a dark ebony wood and a white wood. But then back here, 
We have a nice bunkhouse with a half bath. So more bathrooms is always better. So we've got one bunk up here. Looks like a shelf, which is nice with the USB and power. Some storage, there's probably an outdoor kitchen behind here. And then a fold up bunk with a sofa and a half bath. It's a nice layout. And I do like the white cabinets and everything, the, the sink, it's pretty sharp. Hey, this is a unique one too. Yeah. So this is a, also oh, kind of like the Imagines and some of those other ones we've seen, but it's kind of flipped, and I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. I like this. Uh, around. The way this. The Imagines. The bathroom was right here. The bunk was right here. Kind of, yeah. But I just kind of like this big counter. You have a little bit of a some storage or uh, additional counter space. Nice big U-shaped dinette. 38,206. Big nice TV. Nice heights. And what I also like. I think four TV in here. Is the second entry. And very cool with that shade. Oh. Oh, okay, well. There you go. <laughs> we'll figure that out. But I really like that window. It's just, it's pretty cool. Yeah. That'd be nice in the morning now. So this is the 297 QB Transcend model. And what's cool about this is it's got options for bunks back here. So there's kind of three bunks. So you could sleep and one kid could be here, one here, two here. and even two there. Yeah. Yeah, two there. Some good storage underneath. We Mom, think that this one these can hold. We need a second piece. We these hold in beds. Uh, I don't know if this one does. But Maybe the dinette. But the so we can sofa make it work. Does. Mama. And it's kind of a unique layout. I kind of like how it's kind of I almost kinda open. I kind of like this. Yeah. With some shoe storage Mom. right when you walk in. There's yes, that is awesome. There's all around the RV. Oh, nice, Ryan. Brody said there's hidden Mickey's there's all Mickey's. around the RV. I found the hidden Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> so right here you could put like pre-installed coat rack, coat, coat hooks, small bathroom. Uh, the shower's not very wide, but it does have a skylight, which is nice. And then some good storage underneath the master. Some deep closets. Those are pretty deep. It doesn't, I don't think. Maybe this side. Let's see what this side has. So it doesn't have like a wardrobe, just closet space. So just shelves. And then sliding that's just, doors. yeah, just sliding doors. No TV in the master. Oh, here's some wardrobe space. So this is actually a pretty good sized closet for the size of the rig. Hmm, this would be a nice rig like right here. That could just be a wall of pictures. Yeah, lots, yeah, there's lots of room for pictures. There's also an outdoor kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. What a fridge, a stove, I've not seen this. Before. Especially for twenty-seven thousand. It's got some good passenger storage as well here. Big storage bay. I've never seen this on an RV. There's like a there's a stove top right here. I've never seen that. Oh that's Me on either. most outdoor kitchens. Oh. <laughs> I did not know that. Big awning. Yeah, and oh one. Oh So this is a Winnebago Mini 2301 BHS. Again, similar layouts to what we've seen in some of these travel trailers with bunks. These shorter travel trailers.
a good storage underneath the bed. It's all the way back. Cook closet. Ah, oh, some good storage in there. Refrigerator's on this side. 